Hello guys, welcome to Bike Geek. In this video, we're going to learn how to set up C and C++ in Visual Studio Code. We'll begin by installing the MinGW compiler, which is required to run C and C++ programs. After that, we'll install Visual Studio Code itself. Once both are installed, we'll connect Visual Studio Code with the MinGW compiler to enable C and C++ development. And finally, we'll write and run our first C or C++ program directly in VS Code. So let's get started by installing the MinGW compiler. First, open your web browser and search for MinGW compiler on Google. From the search results, click on the official MinGW website hosted on SourceForge. It should be the first link that appears. For your convenience, I've also added the direct link in the video description so you can access it easily from there. Once you're on the website, click the download button to begin downloading the MinGW installer. When the program file has finished downloading, right click on it and select open to start the installation process. The MinGW installation setup will launch. Click install to proceed. It will install MinGW in the default location. Leave it unchanged and click continue. The setup process will begin, so wait for it to complete this initial step. Next click continue. Next, you'll see a list of available packages. From here, you need to select the necessary components for C and C++ development. First, locate the MINGW Developer Toolkit, right-click on it, and select Mark for installation. Do the same for the MinGW32 base, MinGW32 GCCG++, and MinGW32 GCC Objective Packages. Mark each one for installation. Once you've selected all required packages, go to the installation menu at the top and click apply changes. In the pop-up window, click apply again. The package installation will now begin. This process may take several minutes depending on your internet speed. Once it says all changes were applied successfully, click close. The installation is now complete. Next, open File Explorer, then go to the installation directory, which by default is C drive. Open the MinGW folder, then go to the bin directory. Right click the address bar at the top and copy the full path. Now minimize this window, go to start and search for environment variables. Click edit the system environment variables, then in the window that opens, click the environment variables button. Under system variables, find and select the path variable, then double click it. In the new window, click new and paste the path you copied earlier. Once done, click OK on all open windows to apply the changes. We've now successfully added MinGW to the system path. Let's verify the installation. Go to start, type CMD and open the command prompt. In the terminal, type G++, double dash, version, and press enter. If you see the version information displayed, that means MinGW has been installed successfully. With the compiler ready, let's move on to the next step. First, open your web browser, and in Google search bar, type Visual Studio Code in the search bar, and press enter. You'll see the official website, code.visualstudio.com appear at the top of the results. Click on it. Once you're on the website, you'll see the download for Windows button. Click it to begin the download. Once the download is complete, right click on it and select open to begin the installation. In the setup window, accept the license agreement and click next. On the following screens, Click Next again to confirm the installation location and to proceed with creating a Start Menu folder. In the Additional Tasks section, you can choose to add a desktop icon if you want, and then click Next. You'll then see a summary of the installation settings. Click Install to begin installing Visual Studio Code. The setup will now start. Just wait a few moments for it to finish.
Once the Visual Studio Code setup is complete, you'll see a confirmation screen stating that the installation was successful. If you want to launch VS Code immediately, you can leave the Launch Visual Studio Code option checked. Finally, click Finish to close the setup window. You can launch Visual Studio Code either by clicking the desktop icon or by using the Windows Search feature. Simply open the Start menu, type Visual Studio Code and select the application from the results to open it. Visual Studio Code has opened for the first time. We've successfully installed VS Code. Now, in the third step, we'll connect VS Code with C and C++. Go to Explorer section in the sidebar. Click Open Folder. Let's say you want to create a new folder on your desktop. Name it, then go into Folder and click Select Folder. Now that we've created and opened our project folder in VS Code, right-click inside it and choose New File. Create a new C file, for example. First program .c. .c is the file extension for C programs. If you're working with C++, use the .cpp extension instead. Once you create a .c file, Visual Studio Code will automatically suggest installing the necessary tools to support C or C++ development. It will recommend the C C++ extension pack, which is officially provided by Microsoft. Click Install to proceed. Once installed, you'll see the Uninstall button confirming it's been added. Now go back to your file and start writing your first C program. After that, save the file. Since we've already installed the MinGW compiler earlier, we don't need to configure anything further to compile the code. To make running your code even easier, go to the Extensions tab, then search Code Runner and install it. This extension allows you to run code with a single click. Go to File. The Run Code option becomes available when you right-click your file. Simply right-click and select Run Code to execute your program. As you can see, it printed Hello World just like we wrote in the program. You'll also notice that GCC is being used as the compiler. This confirms that the MinGW compiler we installed is working properly. And that's it for today's video. We successfully installed the MinGW compiler, set up Visual Studio Code, and run our first C program. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more programming tutorials. Have any questions or suggestions? Drop them in the comments below. I'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.